Hello everybody, Mike Nelson, CEO of Efficient Lending Incorporated, uh, coming to you with my first installment on a periodic uh, product series I'm going to do, just discussing new and, and exciting products in the marketplace, and what could be a better time? Look, we've got dynamic real estate market, rates are going up, but there are a lot of really good products in the marketplace that buyers, sellers, borrowers can use to help fight uh, increased costs of the mortgages and these rising rates. And so. What could be a better place to start than talking about hybrid adjustable rate mortgages? Uh, now, because rates have gone up, arms are coming back into the marketplace. They're very attractive. And really, when when anybody says arm, uh, you know, the, the red flags go up, uh, you know, all the, the fear of 2008 financial crash come, comes about. And, and people just say, no, I would never do an arm. But I can assure you, a hybrid arm is a type of arm that came about after the financial crash. And they're actually very uh, safe, really good um, uh, mortgages that really you need to consider in this time frame. So let, let's just start easy. What is a hybrid arm? It's a mortgage that has a fixed introductory period and then adjust over specific time intervals. So for example, uh, a 10-6 arm, you'll hear that quoted in the marketplace right now, would be fixed for 10 years, and then every six months thereafter, it's gonna adjust. So conventional conforming or hybrid arms, you'll hear them in the marketplace, you could see 5-6, a 7-6, or a 10-6, so like a 7-6 hybrid arm would be fixed for seven years, and then it would adjust every six months thereafter. So that brings up the next question, why would you consider an ARM? Well, ARMs typically will have a lower interest rate than their fixed counterparts. So let's say you get a quote for a 30-year fixed mortgage right now, uh, and then you want to say a t you want a quote on a 10-6 ARM. Well, that 10-6 ARM will more than likely have a lower interest rate than the 30-year fixed. Why is that good? Well, it's going to lower the, the cost because a lower interest rate for that 10-year period, but it's also going to um, give a lower monthly payment for the borrower. Couple things you need to know. Virtually all mortgages in the United States are refinanced uh, or the house is sold within the first ten, seven to 10 years of the mortgage. So like if you do a 10-6 arm, you, you know, the odds are whether it was fixed or the 10-6 arm, that mortgage isn't gonna be alive after 10 years. And look, you, if you don't believe me, just think back to your own personal experience if you're a homeowner on what you've done with um, with your own mortgage. So. That, that, that is a good kind of anchor point as you evaluate, it. is this product right for you? Um, look, so borrowers also, let's say, let's say you're moving and, and it's a first time uh, house, you start a home, you know you're gonna move in the next five, seven, 10 years, you should look at an arm. On the other hand, since we kind of know that uh, almost all mortgages in the United States are, are retired before 10 years, even borrowers who are gonna stay in the house for a long time really wanna consider an arm. So why are arms safe? Why are hybrid arms safe? Why are they different than what was going on in, during the financial crash? First and foremost, hybrid arms are conforming conventional loans. They conform to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac guidelines. They are fully underwritten. They um, conform to ability to pay laws. And so the Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac guidelines, ability to repay laws came out of the financial crash and they were designed to really regulate and keep the mortgage market safe. So what does that mean? Well, there are no exotic features on a hybrid arm. For example, no balloon payments, no prepayment penalties, no negative am amortization. Believe it or not, you can get loans out there that are negatively amortized, meaning the principal balance goes up uh, when you make a payment. So you can't have that with a hybrid arm. And you gotta remember, you can always refinance a uh, to a fixed rate mortgage. So. So, you know, depending on what the market is doing, remember, let's say you do a 7-6 arm and rates are actually lower seven years from now, well, you would get advantage of that lower rate, but let's say you're not comfortable with that and you wanna refinance, you can refinance out of the loan, and also there's no balloon payments, no premium pay penalties, so that's not gonna factor into any of your decision. And then lastly, there are limits are set on how much these arms can adjust, and they're called caps. And I'll explain those caps in just a little bit. So no exotic features, fully underwritten, fully regulated, and um, we limit uh, the arm uh, based on the caps. So how does an arm work? Well, an adjustable, a hybrid adjustable rate mortgage uses an index, just a financial term, and it's based on the secured overnight funds rate too technical for this presentation. It used to be on LIBOR a year ago, but they changed it a year or two ago. They changed it to what's called SOFR. So if you want more information on what the secured overnight funds rate is, just Google SOFR or SOFR and you'll get all the information you wanna know. 
An arm, let's say you're doing a seven, six arm. Well, we're gonna amortize that to calculate your monthly payment over 30 years, just like a 30 year fixed mortgage. So you get the benefit of a 30 year amortization schedule to calculate your payment, but you're gonna get a lower introductory interest rate on the arm. Um, then, and, and arms are quoted, like I just said, with that initial um, fixed rate, and then the adjustment period. So you'll see like a 10 slash six, um, uh, arm is, is how you're going to see it quoted to you on a loan estimate or when you're working with a lender. Continuing on, arms are always quoted with caps. I mentioned those a few minutes ago. So caps are always going to be three numbers. So for example, here on my slide, it's a 225. So the first number in those three numbers, let's in this example is a two, is the maximum amount that uh, mortgage can adjust in the first adjustment period. So if it's a 10 six arm, when you get to 10 years, in this case, the caps are 225, the most it could adjust in 10 years is two percentage point. The second number would be how much it can adjust in subsequent uh, intervals. So it's a 10 six arm, that would be every six months. And then the third number is the lifetime. How much can it adjust? What's the maximum amount? In this case, on a 225, it's that five, it would be five percentage points. But you gotta remember, you can refinance this at any time uh, if those caps aren't working to your favor and you want to adjust it. So let's say you're eight years in to a 10-6 arm, you could theoretically refinance to a 22, 23-year loan, even if interest rates were higher, since you're shortening that 30-year amortization term on this arm, you're more than likely gonna end up in a pretty good situation. I mean, we're estimating, we're guessing, but that's really what it looks like. So. Uh, that's how the arms work. Um, you really should look at them in the marketplace right now to see if you know if that arm is right for you, uh, how it comes in with monthly payments, um, you know how long do you think you're going to be in the home, and especially as rates are rising, the arms are even becoming more and more attractive. All right, I love to continue the dialogue anytime on arms. I think they're a great product when uh, used appropriately, just like any tool really. And so feel free to call, text, email me anytime. We'd love to continue the dialogue. Wish you a great success and a great finish to 2022.